Hey guys, it's Joe Carroll. Welcome to another episode of In The Mix. Today we're gonna continue on our breakdown of the mix process for Diamond Dixies Without Your Love. At this point, we've got this great sounding music bed. Now we're gonna start adding our vocals on top of it. Baby, you told me to love it. Okay, so I'm in the mix room and I hope you've been following along. We're at the point now where we have the song, we, we've got our foundation built. We started you know, from, from just the raw tracking session and we've got all the way up now where we've got sounds and levels and panning and even our first round of automation on the band. So we have the band sounding pretty good, so I'm ready to drop in the vocals. Uh, and just in case you haven't been following along, I like to listen to everything. You know, uh, when, I, when I first start a mix, including vocals, get all my average levels and panning positions and stuff figured out, look and see if I, that I'm hitting my stereo bus in about the right spot and build from there. But at that point, I mute the vocals, build uh, the music bed first, you know, generally starting with drums and bass and stuff like that, and, um, and, and go from there because the vocals are the most important ingredient. So what that allows me to do is hear all these little musical ideas and nuggets that may be buried, you know, if I have the vocal loud and on top, like, it will be in a you know contemporary country mix, for example. Um, it, it allows me to to hear all that stuff and get it get it pulled up, you know, so the listener gets a chance to hear it, and then I can drop the vocals in on top of that and know I have the best bed for it to lay on as possible. So I'm to that point. So let's listen to the raw track minus vocals, just so you're up to speed. Okay, I feel really good about that. So I'm gonna drop in the vocals. Uh, this, is, this is Diamond Dixie. If you haven't been following along, it's a sister uh, uh, duo out of Florida. Uh, really talented, a lot of fun. And um, we captured their vocals. I captured them both through the WA-47, going into the 73, and then into the WA-2A. I got about three to five dB of compression on the vocals on the tracking day. So that's the raw sound you are gonna hear. About five dB of compression max, no um no eq whatsoever baby you told me your love is something i can't live without well honey look how i'm doing i'm just fine without your loving now okay that's a fantastic vocal sound the 47 especially on uh gabriella the lead singer um she sings a lot in the in the courses in her upper register so by nature of course the 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 low mid part of her voice thins out because she's she's you know up here so the 47 really, really, you know, with its low mid warmth that it does and that size and girth, we'll call it, that it adds, you know, gave, uh, made sure her voice didn't, uh, you know, stayed, stayed thick enough to, to sound great. Okay, so speaking of Gabriella, um, let's, let's, uh, let's start working on her. Uh, when it comes to vocals, I, I, I'm a, I'm, uh, I love tape, I love tape. So I'm gonna look at some uh, settings here. This is a, it's, one I call up a lot. Let's try that. Hey, baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. Okay, I'm getting about three to four dB of, of uh, you know, less output than I am input uh, on the meters here, if you see. So that, you know, that that's the amount of saturation, you know, I, I, I'm compression I'm getting. Let's go on to EQ, and at this point, uh, I'm still on the NS10s. Um, I use a three-way monitor system, and I, I, the, the thing is, is I'm not tr trying to sell anybody any speakers, but I like a speaker that is very mid-range focused, that doesn't have a lot of high-end detail or a lot of low-end detail when I'm trying to EQ my vocals. You know, the, it lives in the mid-range. That's what the listener is hearing on just about any system they listen on. Listen on. So I'm gonna, you know, uh, EQ it on those speakers and check how it sets with the rest of the band and that kind of a thing. All right, so here we go. Hey, baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just fine without you. Okay, so I'm gonna. It, it, it's. On the verses, I know it's just a little thicker than that, so I'm going to go with a Q of like uh, 1.5. I'm going to pull that down, maybe a dB, not 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 much. 
And I am going to um, do a high pass filter here. Um, let's see. There we go. I'll set that around 60 cycles. Hey. Baby, it's so me, your love is something I can't live. Okay, and now next what I'm gonna do is I'm going, I'm gonna to try to remove something, let's say around 500 cycles-ish. Uh, we'll figure out when I get there. Pretty pretty high cue of like, you know, I'm gonna start with five. I could even go tighter. Um, we're gonna use our fixed band here, and we're gonna find something that is, um, you know, not really attractive in the mid-range that, that um, is gonna, it's gonna remove a little cloudiness but it's also gonna leave the warmth that's below it and the detail and the presence that's above it a little more exposed, uh, okay? So let's, let's find that. Hey, baby, it's so me, your love is something I can't live with. Right there, it's a little snotty, you know, that kind of a thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take that down. Let, let's just take it down about 3 dB or so for now. And let's, let's actually tighten up our cue to about seven. Hey, baby, it's so me, your love is Okay, I'm liking that. Let's uh, let's put a little bit of lift on the high end. Let's go. We we may not need it all the way through. Let's use this guy. Uh, just just a couple dB up at the extreme top end. All right, because the, the, this is the 47. It's a little softer on top, and uh, this this may you know combat that a little uh, just a little bit. Okay, another thing that I do a lot of times on female singers, especially when they get belty and you know when they get up in their higher range, there's a, there's a, a buildup somewhere around 2K, 3K. It's just a little bit harsh. And what I'll do here is I'm gonna use an active band. That's one of the beauties of, of using a uh, dynamic EQ. And so let, let's start around 2,000 cycles with a Q of uh, around two. Um, and let's, let's, uh, Let's cut a couple dB here, and I, I will be able to, you know, um, kick it in, engage the threshold right here. Let's change that to around 3,000 cycles. Okay, let's, let's start there. Let's start there because I'm going to add compression. Uh, so so let let's let's uh, let's see what what happens right there. I'm not going to use this multi band because I, I've already done that with the EQ. Pretty much accomplished that. So let's go to Acoustica here and use the L Ray. This is a, uh, a favorite of mine now um, for this you know first compression track. Let's try this kind of a thing. This is a pretty soft compressor. Hey, baby, it's so me, your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just fine without your love now. Without your love, without your love, yeah. Without your love, yeah. Okay, that's a good, uh, that's a good first step. Okay, now I'm going to engage uh, my outboard WA-76. Let's see, I have her patched into number one here. All right, let's dial it in. Okay, so uh, what I do typically is I have the music play and kind of dial in, you know, what I want to hear. Uh, one thing about a WA-76 style compressor is the, you know, the input dictates the, uh, the uh, compression uh, amount. So your volume may swing a little up or down. I think that's good. Okay, what I like to do with a WA-76 style compressor is start with the attack as slow as it'll go. 
um, which really is not that slow. So that's all the way, you know, all the way this way, right? And the attack is fast as it'll go, so it's as transparent as it's going to be at that point. So that means the, the release is all the way that way, right? All the way clockwise. So that's as transparent as, as it's going to be. Usually I like a fast attack on a vocal. I want it, that's what I, what I like about contemporary music using a, a 76, is that it, you know, it, it releases quick and pushes you know, all, that, all that audio information back up in our face you know, as, it, as it's releasing. So um, basically I just turn up to the, the, the attack until I'm hearing you know, the, the containment that I want to hear. And on a song like this, this is country, and I'm not trying to you know, create a super smashed vocal thing. I want it to have some punch, I want it to have some movement. So I've settled on around, uh, looks like around two o'clock, and I'm getting around five dB of compression uh, on the VU meter. And I always check my output to make sure you know, that I'm in the sweet spot in analog world. So in, in, on, on this particular piece of gear, I like my peaks to be reaching above zero, somewhere in between zero and two dB above zero on the VU is, is a sweet spot sound wise for me. Okay, so now um, I'm ready to add some de-essing. So we've, we've added some, you know, we've got our EQ, we've added our compression. So the sibilant uh, nature of the vocal, you know, due to everything we're doing is, is being brought up. So let's, let's see if we can dial that back just a little bit, make it a little more pleasing. Let's tr let's focus on this one. Baby, it's me your love is. Something I can't live without. Right through here there's we got some sibilance, so let's uh Baby, it's me your love is. Something I can't live with Baby, it's me. Okay. So let's uh put this in and see what it's doing. Baby, it's me your love is. Something I can't live with Baby, it's me your love. Maybe good. Let's try that. Okay, now um, I'm, I'm kind of figuring, you know, all these layers that we're putting on, I'm going to need a little bit bigger reduction back here, okay? I might need to drop the attack on the compressor just a little bit. Alright, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a layer of parallel compression and that's accomplished right here by a send. You see the, the, the send here is named Squisher Vox. The input of this track is Squisher Vox. I have a, an, uh, an in the box version of an 1176. I'm all out back here. And this is uh, one from DSP that I like a lot. So let's get this thing dialed in here. You're, you're going to hear volume swings. Uh, um, just, just ignore that for now, okay? about 12 dB of compression, so I'm, I'm going to make up that gain. There you go. Pretty fast attack, fastest release. Let's set that, the, the lead vocal level where it's just quite, not quite loud enough, okay? Now we're going to unmute this guy bring up our, or, you know, the difference in our gain and our volume with this track, this highly compressed track. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it seems like it's probably around 200 cycles. I'm going to set another, uh, 2 dB, uh, let's go about 180 actually for now. Um, Q of around three is fine. Let's, let's, uh, this is on our active band and let's, let's see if we can reduce just a little more low mids when she gets loud. Without your love, without your love, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's better. Let's listen to uh, let's listen to a little bit of verse two. You were a heaven sent redeemer. Boy, what made you think that I needed saving? Yeah, I like it. It's a little loud, and you know, it's completely dry. Uh, Ga Ga I'm sure Gabriella is at home going, "Why are you letting people hear me like that?" <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna get it's gonna get better. But I think she sounds great. Don't you think she sounds great, Robbie? Robbie, the camera guy back here. All right, so let's um, let's let's let her alone for a minute, and let's bring in her sister Bianca here. And I got her in solo. Let's hear her voice just for a minute. And remember, she's also on the WA47, same chain, 73 into the two-way. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't I'm do just a little work in solo before I put the two of them together, okay? I'm going to cut out a, a, on my fixed band here. I'm going to go um, and, and kind of sweep around, find out, you know, just a, a across the board cut in the low mids. Baby, you told me your love is Okay. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live with. Now she's singing a part below Bianca. Uh, I'm sorry, but below Gabriella, and I want her to be a little thick because because you know um, Gabriella is 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 really gunning right there. So in the in the course, she's you know rather than thinning her out too much, I'm gonna leave her just a you know a little bit of meat down there to fill out the sound. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. Okay, I like I like that. I like what we're what we're getting. Let's turn that on. High pass filter. Um, all right, let's let's cut that down and uh, let's see how the two of these guys are playing uh, frequency uh, spectrum wise. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm okay, let's let's play with something. You, you see how I cut a little 3K out of Gabriella. Let, let's let's see if we can push uh, Bianca a little somewhere in that mid-range band to to uh, cut, you know get, give her a little cut against Gab. Gabriella. Gab does not like her name abbreviated. A little fun fact. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look right there, that's perfect. So we'll, we'll let's add maybe three dB of that. Let's see. Uh, Q. Let's do more like two. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live with. And I'm gonna take about one more dB out of the low mid. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live with. Okay, let's do that. I want to use this same chain for the most part on on her. A lot of times on background vocals. I, I vary it. Like, for example, let's say I'm going to use a, something like the WA-76 as my primary compressor on a lead vocal. A lot of times on a background vocal, I'm going to switch to something like the WA-2A, a uh, slower, you know, optical style circuit. But on, uh, even though she's going to be a little below uh, um, Gabriella in, in volume, th this is a true duo. This isn't, you know, a, as much a background singer as it is just another singer happen happening to sing a harmony part. So um, I'm, I'm going to go with that in-your-face WA-76 style thing. But let's start with this. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, I love it. Let's bring in the WA-76 here. Two. Let me dial that guy in. All right, so I'm going to dial it in. I'm, I'm going to solo up the vocals, but I'm going to have the lead vocal going because um, I want her not quite as punchy as Gabriella. I want, I, I'm probably, meaning the attack is gonna be a little faster on her. I want her just a little more clamped down, you know, since she's on the harmony part. And I want, you know, Gabriella to have a little bit more punch, a little bit more movement. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just fine without your loving now. Baby, you told me your love is I think that's it. That's going to work. Okay, now uh, hearing hearing the two of these uh, guys together now, uh, I, I'm wanting to um, 
EQ her vocal just a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up an active band here, and I'm only gonna cut it two, three dB. Let's start with two. I'm gonna go around 225 cycles, a Q of about 1.5. I'm gonna drag the threshold down here and tell, you know, on some of her um, lower notes um, that, it, that it dips down a couple dB. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, that's, that sounds great. Now let's do the same thing with her. Let's uh, let's DS just a little bit. Again, we you know we've done all our smashing, so our, our S consonants you know are, are being by nature being brought up uh, in dynamic. So let's let's find where she's needing a little help here. I think that's pretty much perfect. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a, a another little uh, second a second uh, round of uh, DSing here. I'm gonna use. This guy, we're gonna dial it in a little bit. Okay, and let's put her back in. Uh, that that may sound a little extreme to you, but but Gabriella is they're singing at the same time, and her uh, sibilance is gonna carry plenty throughout those areas. Let's uh, let's work on uh, just a little bit of effects, okay? Baby, you told me your love is something I can't. Just a little bit of stereo spreading, uh, you know the old pitch of one side up, one side down, delayed a couple cents trick. Nothing uh, nothing new there whatsoever. I usually like to start with delays before I work on on um, um, my reverbs because uh, I'm probably gonna use both on this song. To try to get your way, but those two. Okay, let's 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 take a look at that patch that I have. Boy, you Hold up, I have the uh, uh, EC three hundred. I got set the classic tape. Um, let me let me do warm tape, and let's roll the high frequency content down. Boy, you sweet talk to let's actually take the um, the width control and move it in a little bit. See how these me meters. Boy, to try to get your way but those stupid games don't work on me anyway let's add some saturation boy you sweet talk to try to get your way but those stupid games don't work on me anyway let's let's try that i'm gonna uh, put the same thing on 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 uh, bianca here let's scroll down there Put these guys on. Let's listen to them together. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, you look how I'm doing. I'm just fine with how you love me now. This boy, you sweet talk to try to get your way. But those stupid games. Yeah, just a little less. I'm getting just a little carried away with it, I think. This boy, you sweet talk to try to get your way. Okay. Now I'm gonna listen, to, uh, I'm gonna bring up a patch, maybe a little bit similar, uh, but it's gonna be a, a uh, longer patch. And this, is, this guy's gonna appear in the verse, I'm sorry, in the choruses, probably. It's all me, your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just fine without your loving now. Okay, let's, let's uh, 
Move some low, mid, and some high frequency content. Distortion. Nah, I really don't want much distortion on that. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just it so me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just fine without your love now. Let's hear that in the track. I think I like kind of like the sound of that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate it to where uh, in verse one uh, is completely off. Verse two, let's let's start with a completely off. Uh, I change. I reserve the right to change my mind. All right, and then the breakdown. Let's listen. Yeah, we de we really want her to dry up in that section. Uh, I'm probably going to even take back the, uh, the short delay, just a just a little bit. Yeah. yeah, let's go with that. Okay, now that I have the delays in place, I'm going to uh, uh, move on to reverb. I'm not going to use much for this song. I'll play a little bit of verse two, and you can hear just the reverbs that we have going on. It is is doing quite a bit as far as like putting the you know the vocalists in a space, not sounding you know overly artificially dry. As if you were. All right, so let's let's. Uh, I have a. Um, you'll see. You, you'll remember that I, I bring in a little virtual effects rack here uh, as part of my template. You know, I have like on drums. You know, um, uh, various various things here. I use, I've been using a lot of this uh, LX480 here recently. But anyway, um, the preset that I had on on the my first vocal uh, verb is a um, an ambient setting. Uh, I'm gonna solo up um, Gabriella's vocal and turn it on too much, just so you can kind of hear the sound that uh, I'm probably gonna end up using. As if you were a heaven sent redeemer. Boy, what made you think that I needed saving? You thought I would. That's As if you were a heaven sent redeemer. I think that feels good. So that's probably about where uh, where I'm going to end up. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to I'm going to work with that. Okay. So we've processed the two vocals individually, and you may recall from an earlier episode, I'm running the vocals together through a stereo bus here named Bus Vox, and it has one of my WA uh, 273 stereo um, preamps, and I'm going into the line input and using using the transformer coloration. You know, to make this, uh, to make it bigger and uh, more analog sounding uh, uh, as a whole. So, um, but what I like to do, I like to use bus compression on my various buses to tie things together. You know, my my non-drum instruments are, are, are getting the Acoustica L Ray. It's barely moving the needle, but it's just a fantastic sounding plug-in. On the drums, I have the uh, the Pink Two. You remember we talked about that. Uh, but on the vocals, I'm actually going to use, uh, and I'm going I'm to stay in the analog world here, and I'm going to use a um, my my. I have a stereo pair of WA two A's, uh, optical slow. You know, they're they're different than the WA seventy six. It's a different animal. So I'm going to put them in, and let's see what we got. I'm probably going to get a volume jump. So I'm going to turn this down just a little. Okay, now I'm getting, you've seen about 2 dB of compression here. It doesn't take much. It's just basically the sound of the unit, you know, the tubes and transformers, 
but also just a couple dB of a slow moving compression to just kind of just, just one last little, uh, not only analog factor, but also one last little bit of, um, of compression that is uh, just kind of tying the two of them together and you know, uh, taking and putting the dynamics in place just a tiny bit more. Sometimes, um, sometimes you have to, uh, um, you know, recheck your effects levels just a little bit after you've done this because the balance, but you know, from the the uh, the dry signal here and the wet signal on the effects return is a little different. So let me do that real quick. I like well, that pretty good, actually. Boy, what made you think that I needed saving? You thought I was broken from the beginning. Baby, you told me your love is something I can't live without. Well, honey, look how I'm doing. I'm just fine without your love now. Okay, I think that's a great starting spot for me. Now, You'll remember when I went to the band, I spent you know a good a good little bit of time on automation. You remember that from an earlier episode. Um, you know, like I, I'll go to to the volume mode just to just to recap real quick. You know, you see that in the band there's there's breakpoint automation just all over the place. Um, you know, to create excitement here and there. You know, just just keep everything at the consistent level. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do that same level of detail automation on the vocals and I like to do that with a fader personally to each you know every, every, you can use breakpoint automation but um, let me let me go ahead and get started on this and let you kind of see uh, my method and then um, it, it's kind of time consuming so then we will uh, we will fast forward ahead but for now I like to go to uh, continuous scrolling um, before I take off I know this first verse is down in volume a pretty good bit so let me take her down Almost 2 dB here. Let, let's just double check this. Boy, you sweet talk to I think that's going to work for me. All right, let's uh, let's go from the beginning and and uh, get our hand on a real fader here and just feel it. Okay, you get the idea. I want to do one my, my original pass. I want to do with my finger as I'm feeling it, at, uh, feeling it at the time, and get get the human factor going. I I, I want you know a, a little a little movement here and there. I, I don't I don't want just a static volume. Uh, it's it's not exciting. So uh, then after I get that done, I'm going to do a more detailed pass with breakpoint automation. Maybe um, you know some uh, sibilant uh, areas. You know, maybe um, do some um, clip gain kind of things, clip them down a little bit, turn turn certain words up and down in, in you know in, in more detail. And then uh, once I get the lead, which in this case the, the melody, which is Gabriella, done, I'll add Bianca in underneath that, there and do the exact same process. All right, so I'm gonna get this uh, this done, and then I'll come back for some more. One hour later. All right, that does it. That, that, that's one pass through uh, of, of you know actual touch fader automation, and then a more detailed pass with breakpoint automation. You know, grabbing some um, even some clip gain things here and there, uh, turning you know turning ends of words up, it, just all kinds of things. So I, I'm going to show you, and this is something 
that the, the very, in my early days when I was assisting um, a, a, a well-known, well-respected Nashville guy, I had never seen um, automation like this. Um, I, I didn't understand, you know, what it took to make a vocal set, you know, in a mix the way that it needed to set or, or, or a track to be as exciting as, as, you know, what I heard on the radio. I was just blown away he would spend an hour just on vocal automation and, and it, it just, it, it, but I, I want you to look at the screen here and, and just see the level automa of automation that we have going on. And that's, in addition, you know, that the, the, the compression and things like that is, is not enough um, to create, you know, not only to have the vocal set in the track where you want it, but also every word be where you want it and, and, and also exciting you know, certain certain things to, to punch a little bit, certain things, you know, dynamics to come down a little bit. But yeah, I hope you're seeing that. So that takes time and effort. This is not a quick set it and forget it. This plug in or this piece of analog processor just takes care of everything. It, it's not that way um, to make, you know, to make a great record. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm probably 98% done. I'm gonna listen from the top down to the whole picture now. Instead of focusing just on vocals or drums or anything else, I'm actually gonna listen big picture. And some of these uh, some of these moments in the earlier episodes, you remember on electric guitars, I pulled some things up. I'm gonna make sure I pull them up enough. Maybe maybe I pulled them up too far. Um, just, just one last little, you know, pass through to make sure that all, every EQ, every reverb level, all that, I, I may even throw a couple special effect. Um, um, delays in there or something on some words, but I'm 98% done. Then I'm going to shoot this to the ladies of Diamond Dixie by email tonight. They will give me some feedback. This thing is going to be mastered tomorrow. Um, hopefully, at the end of this video, if you've stuck around this long, you're going to hear the actual final mastered cut, and you'll hear the difference between what you're hearing now and then after the mastering, because I'm leaving headroom for my mastering engineer to do his thing on the high frequency side of things, the compression side of things, the limiting side of things. There's plenty of headroom for him to do what he wants to do. In fact, I'd like to even uh, interview him for the show and get his input on you know what all he did and maybe some hits and you know some some tips and things for you guys when you're sending something out to prof for professional mastering. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. All right, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't already, remember to follow Warm Audio on all their social media pages. And maybe take a minute to give them a big shout out for all this great educational content that they're providing. Also, follow me on my own pages at In The Mix with Joe Carroll. Now here is Diamond Dixie singing Without Your Love. you think that I'm crying over you And still hung up on every word you'd say Cause boy you sweet talk to try to get your way But those stupid games don't work on me anyway Baby you told me to love it Something I can't live without Well honey If you were a heaven sent redeemer We're talking.